So you're starting your business and you need to create a look and feel to represent you, but where do you even start? Especially if you don't have the budget to hire a designer and you need to DIY it. Well, there are three things that you need to get completely clear on before you even get started. Ready to know what they are? All right, let's go. Hi, I'm Allie and I teach visual marketing strategies to help you get your business up and running online with a standout brand and website. But if you don't keep your dream client in mind and at the center of your visuals from the very beginning, you won't stand out to them. So you've got to nail down these three things before you create your brand and specifically before you create a logo for your business. The first thing to nail down is what you do and who you help. If you haven't spent time narrowing down what services you're going to offer and finding out exactly who your dream client is and then also understanding what outcome someone gets when they'll work with you, then you need to spend time here and uncover these things first. I know you hear this all the time, but so many entrepreneurs simply breeze by this step and blow off taking the opportunity to truly understand who their audience is. And the thing is, if you don't know really well who you're marketing to, it makes it that much harder to have your visuals align with them and make a connection with them which makes it hard ultimately to make a sale and that's no good. So don't skip this step. Second, you've got to understand your dream client's why. Understanding your dream client's problem may seem easy enough. For example, it's what they type into the search bar of Google, like how to lose weight or how to deal with anxiety. But what about their deep-seated internal reason why they want to solve that problem? It's going to be so much easier to make a connection with them if you can narrow down to the very core of what's motivating them to make that change. And remember, your brand is your brand, but it's not really about you. It's about your audience. So you've got to know where they're at right now and meet them there. And finally, you need to know your brand's personality. So what is brand personality? Well, it's the three to four adjectives that you need to determine that will describe your brand as if it were a person. So is your business outgoing, quirky, or collaborative, for example? You see, how your dream client feels about your brand has more pull than what they think about your brand. So you've got to know how you want them to feel. Colors, symbols, and shapes all have built-in associations that can impact the way your brand is perceived. So you really have to take this into consideration before creating any visuals for your business. I know it can be super tempting to just dive right in and start creating the visuals for your business without doing this foundational work. I get it. I mean, that's the fun part, right? Go ahead and click the like button on this video if you agree. The visuals are the fun part. I know they are for me, but I promise you this. If you can nail down these three things before creating the visuals for your business, you're gonna save yourself so many headaches in the long run because you're gonna be starting off with a really solid foundation from the very start. Now, if you wanna save loads of time as you DIY your brand and website, then you need to head over to my website at dowellwebsites.com forward slash simple to access my free training on the simple way to create a standout brand and website without wasting time on tech overwhelm. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. And if you're thinking, how do I know I'm going to be able to DIY my brand in the first place? Then I want you to go ahead and click the video that's on your screen right now where I bust the most common myths when it comes to DIY branding and website building. And don't forget to click subscribe and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time.